Hey guys, how are you? Um, welcome, this is the Journey of Mila Lifestyle, Moments, Madness, and Meditations, and we are in it, right? Like this is the holiday season. We have um, a couple of days until we're celebrating Christmas and everything festive, and I just wanted to dive right in, honor your time. I know you have so much going on, um, and wanted to know, just check in. So if you're new and you're just joining us, welcome to our community, to our tribe. Um, this originally started as meditations and a behind the veil of me launching Mila Lifestyle, which is an e-commerce lifestyle site. Um, I'm a tastemaker, serial entrepreneur, and I've curated uh, this website to have beautiful products in the categories of wellness, beauty, home, and style. But above all that, I wanted to um, take a moment and just take you behind the veil of what it's like to be a founder. So that's how we originally started, me sharing the moments in madness and then giving you two quick meditations. And it just kind of snowballed in a really powerful way into like us really building this tribe. So if you're here and you're watching on, on um, IGTV Live or you're listening from our podcast or from our YouTube. We just want to thank you for whatever um, platform you're joining us and just dive right in. So in, in terms of moments of madness, like I ventured into the deep end. You know, a friend of mine always talks about, you know, it's like when you're in a pool and, you know, sometimes you jump right into the deep end and sometimes it's like a process, right? It's like when my kids were learning to swim, it was like, you know, um, you know, they're in the shallow end and they have the instructor and they may be kicking and they have the little paddle board, you know, and, and they're like, okay, are you good? Like, how's your strokes? Everything's fine. And then like the instructor's there and they're like, okay, now we're gonna go a little further and they take their hands off and pretty soon like they're swimming right and it's just like it's powerful well my team kind of threw me into the deep end but sometimes that's what it takes so yesterday we had a meeting last week we had a meeting around TikTok all things communication and I'm not a person that like adjust to change or technology easy and I know you're like Camila you have a website I got I get it I get it but anything new I'm always like there's that learning curve that I it's uncomfortable for me so my team was telling me listen you have to get on TikTok it's conducive to your personality blah 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 and I was just like fighting them I was like I don't like TikTok blah blah, blah. it's not me it's it's you know it's so many young people like I don't know what to do like ah you know and um one of um one of the people on the call were basically like learn to like it so if I, when I was like, I don't like it, they were basically like, learn to like it. And that's what you need, right? We talk about our inner court. We talk about that counsel that we need to have. You need people in your life that are gonna tell you, learn to like it. You know, you need people in your life that can see further than, than you're presently seeing in this moment and that have, that have their eyes set on the long game and the long-term strategy for you. So it's not like you're going at it alone, but you have like this team, this team of this council that is very vital. So I posted my first TikTok. Like I, if you guys follow me, I usually post like me on, on my Peloton in the morning through my stories because that's what feels safe. You know, um, and usually with stories, it's usually people that already know you, so it's kind of intimate, what have you. So I posted, um, check it out, it's on my feed. I posted my first TikTok, and it was great. And what I really shared was, was like how often, how many times do we have something where we don't like it because it's unfamiliar? You know, and so the, the idea when we talk about closing out this year and venturing out into next year is to be comfortable in the unfamiliar, right? To be comfortable in the tension, to even be comfortable in dark space is where you don't really see the light like where there's there's something more on the other side of that like it's okay being uncomfortable and I was a little uncomfortable but I did it so check out TikTok follow me on TikTok if you need a link it's on my feed uh, with me on the bike uh, and it was just it, it was great um, we ended last week where we talked about breathless moments right and like hoping that we can all like take a moment to just adapt and have those breathless moments throughout our weekend so I hope I hope you guys had had that I, I sure did and what I realized is like I have a problem with receiving like I I realize like I like I'm a, I'm a giver like I'm a caretaker I like doing all the things but when it's reversed and you know it, it, it's in that place of honor and it's reversed it makes me feel like a little uncomfortable probably because it has something to do with control which circle back around my meeting with my team but you know I wanted to give you two quick meditations that 
you know, I always say like whatever is going on with me, um, I always like to share it in the meditation or it's reflected back, you know, it's, it's those like magical confirmations and this is a season of wonder, right? This is a season of festivities and, and this is a season of, of, of worthiness. If whatever your spiritual path is on, we all can appreciate the magic and the wonder and, and, and the adoration of this season um, in, in, in big or small moments. Like even in this year, we can do that like from a place of gratitude. So our first meditation today is worthy and wonderful. And so what do I mean by that? I mean that we need to have people, we need to believe in ourselves that we are worthy that we we have worth and that when when we come to the table when we when we're in our home when we're out in the world that our worth shows in a lot of ways it may be physical it may be intellectual it may be spiritual it may be emotional but you have a, a work that is that is, is is purely you and so how wonderful is that that we can have this worthiness and you know there was um that personal knowing, right? That that our worthiness and and our worth is connected because we personally know ourselves, and that there are people that personally know us, right? So it's like personal enough to know us and powerful enough to spark change, right? Like that catalyst of change. What I talked about earlier with, uh, you know having my team motivating me to be on, on TikTok. So I really wanted you to, to think about that and kind of wrestle and meditate on that with our first meditation. The fact that you are worthy and your worthiness doesn't come from your net worth, from your institutional power, from your personal power, from, from, from your access, from your influence. Your worthiness comes from somewhere deep down inside. And when, we're, when we have access to that and we can be in complete surrender, then we can receive, right? Because we're receiving from a place of knowing that we're worth it you know it's it, it sounds it sounds so simple but it's something that we have to really it has to really land in our on our heart and really resonate there right so the idea that you are worthy the idea that like you have people around you and you know yourself enough that are personal to know your name and that is and it's powerful enough to catalyst to be a catalyst for change for you right so personal enough to know your name powerful enough to be a catalyst for change like that is truly um the wonder and the worthiness of of you you know and and i am grateful that you have chosen to join me and, and get to know me in some pretty intimate ways i feel like i share I just lay it all on the table. You know, I feel like I share a lot with you, but I do that because I've walked through valley and mountain moments, and I wanna encourage you um, in walking through those as well. And our second meditation, so our first meditation is uh, worthy and wonderful, um, and our second meditation is behold. And what do I mean by that? And behold, you know, I'm a word girl, and so behold really, the def the true definition of behold, um, you hear it sometimes in um, songs of the season, um, you hear it, behold, you hear it so much a lot of times in songs of this season, and it means to observe a thing or a person, especially something that is remarkable or impressive, right? So I'm, I'm going to say that again. So behold, the true definition or the most simple definition is to observe a thing or a person, especially something that is remarkable and impressive. And isn't it beautiful like in this season that we can behold this moment, that we can behold each other, that we have people in our lives and we are growing in community and in relationship where it is beholden, right? That that it is remarkable, that it is impressive. And and our worthiness our, our worthiness and who we are makes it such a sight to behold, right? Our worthiness and who we are in our home. We talk a lot about that at Mila Lifestyle, right? That it is a community where we can be truly known in our home as well as we're known out in the world. And, and it's a very seamless transition. So our worthiness of who, of who we are, our worthiness of who we are spiritually, our worthiness of who we are emotionally, our worthiness of who we are physically, uh, our worthiness of who we are relationally, that we have that constant confidence in that, and that is something to behold. Why? Because it is impressive. Because you are impressive. Because you are remarkable. Because you have a group of people in what we're building here at Mila Lifestyle that won't just throw you into the deep end, right? You'll have a group of people that will take those strokes with you, that, that, are, that, are, that are on the paddleboard with you, that are, that, are that are slowly showing you how we're walking into the deep. 
And that's the goal, right? Is for us to go into the deep. And and not only to go into the deep in 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 a in a knowing way, but going into the deep knowing that we're worthy, knowing that it's so much bigger, knowing that there's so much more for us. So our two meditations today are worthy and wonderful to realize and to sit with and to uh, meditate on how worthy we are. And when we realize and we have that epiphany and that knowing that we're worthy, then we can receive, right? Because if I don't feel confident and I don't feel um, worthy, <laughs> then I can't receive. Like I can't, I can't put myself in a position. Or we talk about surrender, right? I can't, I can't, I can't put myself in a place of surrender to receive all that is for me. I can't put myself in a place of surrender to 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 receive all the magic and the glory and the festivities and the honor and the love and the intimacy and the connection and, and all the things. Like I have to know one that I am worthy and I have to bring people around me and I have a community that is beholden of me that reminds me of that because you're truly remarkable you're truly special and this is a season where beyond what has happened this year that we can launch into something greater that we can go into this next year in 2021 knowing that we're worthy right and knowing that you have permission to say that right I, I think a lot of times we feel like you know there's something called false humility, right? False humility is like when someone gives you a compliment, you're like, no, 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 oh, but you know what I mean? Like, and, and you know, sometimes you just have to say thank you and you have permission to receive the compliment. You have permission to receive, you know, that, that inspiration. You have permission to receive that intimacy and that longing and that loving and, and, and all the fruit of, of, of who you are and all the fruit of what's been planted for people that have gone before you. So I want to thank you for joining me on the Journey of Being a Lifestyle. And remember, our two meditations for today are worthy and wonderful, that you are truly worthy, that you are uh, capable of being known in such an intimate, magical way, and that we can behold all the beauty of who you are. And you could step into that in such a powerful way because we're doing this good, intimate work here together. So I want to thank you again for joining me on the Journey of Being a Lifestyle. And ciao for now. Bye.